hey y'all what's going on the states from hands in the dirt hadn't recorded anything in the garden since by uh, disaster with that arctic blast came and just about killed everything in my garden I'm gonna show you what's going on with that but i got to do a cleanup i got some leaves and some stuff all everywhere and i'm going to show you um some of the more damage of what happened in the garden and i'm also going to do a product review of this boot i've sent this boot uh by Hacia. so we're going to see you know i give an honest review i hadn't been out i hadn't uh, i put them on you know to see if they fit but i hadn't worked in them so we're going to get in the garden to work in them and i'll give you an honest review of what i think about this boot so all right let's get into it all right put my dogs in here see what's going on nice and comfortable I like that there's no string in their slide on. Feel pretty comfy. All right, let's try to wear them out. All right, y'all, I had to stop, take a quick break. This is what I have left of my collar. After I cut away all the dead stuff, this is all I have left of my collar. This is what I have left of my cabbage. That might be a broccoli right there. And these cabbages right here. Everything in, everything in this bed is dead. Everything in that bed is dead. I didn't have nothing planted here but garlic. It's still doing this thing. Everything in this bed is dead, those are weeds. Just about everything in this bed is dead. I have a couple things hanging on. Just about everything in this bed is dead. I have a couple of things hanging on. Let's go inside this green house. All right. Everything that I can have in a bucket is dead except for this. And I need to pull this out of here. My lemon and lime trees are highly damaged. I lost all the limes. I've lost all of my lemons. And hopefully my orange tree is hanging on. You see, I got a lot of dead branches on here, but hopefully it's not dead to the... Uh, the roots. I got to get all this pulled out. Get this pulled out and cleaned up. All these leaves. I've already pulled off a couple of my containers that had uh, stuff in it. But this turned out to be more than a thought with all these leaves. Thank you, neighbor. Let me get all your leaves. So uh, I'm going to have to come back out tomorrow. But I am Still gonna get at this and try to get, get at least the beds and all this cleaned up. Garlic. This garlic never came up, but that don't mean it's dead. Get all these leaves out of here. Get all this cleaned up. And then I'm finna go get a load of uh of uh horse manure that's already composted. And the people said that they don't use any chemicals, they love their animals. So I'm gonna get a load of compost and just go ahead and stick a bunch of it in these uh, empty beds and mix it in with the soil. Get that going. Then I'm gonna collect the seeds. This is lemon balm, uh, rosemary. This is a blue spicy basil. I'm gonna come collect all these seeds so I can regrow these. Strawberries looking crazy. I got to put some leaves on top of that. But yeah, that's where we at right now. Got to do a massive cleanup, collect some seeds and get ready to replant some stuff. But I already have a lot of uh, more seeds. Just got to get a good cleanup and get ready to start over. 
All right, here's 10, 10 of the 30 buckets that I uh, bought for $20. Got some paper in here. They cleaned them out, but I'm gonna set them all out, clean them all out really, really good. Drill some holes in it. And uh, those trees that I air layered last year, I'll be putting those in here. And uh, I'll also be growing some stuff this spring and these buckets, it's just 10 of the 30. Good night. I ran it through that. Now I got to run it through this. Tie the knot right here. Push it back down now, like that. That's it, y'all. got most of it I'm gonna come back in the morning when it's a little cooler and get the fine details but I'm gonna make sure I go get some more uh, some more gas and some mix so I have it filled up one thing I like about this clear side on this compost bin you can see the compost at the bottom it's composted soil horse manure I've been putting uh, fruit and paper and scraps and all kind of stuff in here just composting it down that's gonna go over in the garden all right y'all let's get down to this boot review all right i would say so far so good i gave them a little workout they are very very comfortable they are very very comfortable and uh yeah, I like them. I would recommend these. These are very, very comfortable. Um, I really wanted the uh, the tall ones, um, the camos, the camouflage tall ones, because you know I do hunt. I do hunt too, so that would have been perfect. But I could see that uh, these will work for me, especially during the summer months. All right, so if you get a chance, go check out Hasea, H I S E A. Uh, boots. I'm going to put the description and I think maybe a uh, they may even have some type of coupon or code or something that you can put in there to get a discount on them. All right. Thank you. All right, guys, that's going to cut it today. I got most of the stuff uh, leaves blown up. Not all of them. I'm going to get some more fuel, some more mix so that I can get a thorough cleanup. Then I'm going to get that composted cow manure and start filling up some of these beds. Um, those buckets I got, I'm going to clean those up, drill some holes in the bottom and start putting some of these blueberries that I have in like three gallon buckets and go ahead and put those in five gallon or maybe even um, um, 17 gallons. And then some of the trees that I air laid last year like this, um, uh, this is I think it's the Santa Rosa plum, put it in a 17 gallon and just start stepping stuff up, putting them in bigger buckets because I actually did get a lot of trees from air layer. If you have any questions, email me. If you like my content, like and subscribe. And remember, if you have some seeds, put them in the dirt.